Yes, good morning out of Zurich. I want to pick up on a news that, that happened about two years ago, or two years precise, I must say. And I um, I just want to go over it a bit. I've never done it before, but it's it really something to think about. Maybe by then, or when I look up later, if they had found whoever had committed this crime. Here's the headline. We are baffled. One pastor shot in church week after a nominous tweet. If it's your first time on my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Adrian Carr, leader of the church where the young pastor James Johnson worship, said he is baffled by the murder of Johnson, adding that the gunman should surrender to cops now. 29-year-old Johnson was also an activist of the ruling Jamaica Labour Party, JLP, died late Thursday afternoon after a gunman shot him several times at the Church of God of Prophecy in Old Harbour Road in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. The Corporate Communication Unit of the Jamaica Constabulary Force said the disease is from Union Estate, St. Catherine. It added, reports from the Spanish Town Police are that about 5 p.m. Johnson was teaching a class of students when a lone gunman entered the church and shot him several times. He was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Less than a month before Johnson was gunned down, he made the tweet. The tweet says, even as I fight to stay alive, I am Reminded that there is hope in the Lord. If I ever prematurely leave my heart is at peace and I know I'm going to a better place, I'm an of view, I fulfill my purpose. This was dated on the 28th of August 2018. A time precise was 6.58 p.m. In the meantime, Pastor Carr, in a social media post, said it appeared the gunman trailed Johnson to the church. The shooting took place at the church where E. Johnson went, intended to do some work for our Bible school. It seems he was followed to the location, and while he was in the administrative office, a lone murderer entered and shot him. The clergyman added, we are baffled as to why someone thought it necessary to murder M. Johnson. We are, however, confident that the murderer will be caught and justice will be served. And I heard such person to turn himself into the police. The late Johnson was vocal about happenings in this society, recently called for an end to murderers, as shown in a tweet below. What kind of society is this? How can we turn on our future leaders? Something must be done radic something must have gone radically wrong, and it must stop. That was twenty sixth of August 2018, precise time, 8.12 a.m. Pastor Carr spoke highly of the murdered youth, a past student of Garvey, McCor High School in Clarendon. Johnson was a very helpful person with good potential. We are confident of God's grace on his family his co-workers, friends, and the church. He also can declare that his church will not be daunted. We are, pray we are praying, church, and we will not be daunted by evil. The church will continue to pray daily until the murderer is caught. I invite others to join us in this crusade against evil, added Pastor Cup. 
Johnson, based on social media posts, was a strong supporter of the GLP. And he worked closely with Member of Parliament, MP, for the St. Andrew West Rural, Juliet Cobert Flint. As shown in the photo below, we actually accompanied, he actually accompanied the MP to a back-to-school treat in her constituency last month. Johnson sometimes tweeted that his main interest was to give back to his country through hard work and dedication. He had a seemingly large number of friends who appeared stunted by the tragedy which happened during a state of public emergency covering Spanish Town and other parts of St. Catherine North Police Division. Nadine Spence, student service and development manager at the University of the West Indies said, Johnson was a confident and intelligent young man. He was a student at one point, my student assistant. I watched him mature into this wonderful, confident, assertive, intelligent young man. I loved him, she said on Twitter. I don't know what to do. My worries, you know. When we look at this now, this is what we're trying to get at in Jamaica. Why are we doing this? I can understand when he would say that in his tweet, what kind of a society is this? How can we turn on our future leaders that are the children he's talking about? Something must have radically gone wrong and it must be stopped. Are you telling me that the young folks in Jamaica, the murderers in Jamaica, they don't care? They can't even see themselves as a future leader. That when someone would come out and actually see the problem and try to make amendment we go about and eradicate their lives it is not fear that people are trying to help you people and you are the ones who are trying to kill them you're ruining our society the children are the future so when you have killed out all the children what do you left for the highland nothing and this is what i found in this article of this young pastor I'm not talking about the political side of anything i'm talking about the young pastor himself james johnson a man who lost his life because he think of the society that he's living in a lot of people are losing their life because they they try to stand up in society to make things look different on the inside and people on the outside can view it and say it's good and this keep on happening over and over and over again i choose this one because i realize that the young people of jamaica we look on the outward side of the world and we're talking about other countries i'm talking about the youths in jamaica the ones who are gun swingers were paying others to kill others and the delights it's evil what you're doing and it's time for us to stop when you kill off our young people when you kill off our middle age when you kill our old folks you're killing how the highland of jamaica we may call upon the prime minister but the prime minister is just the prime minister until his term is over the parliamentarians might be there for a while but i'm talking about the people of the island of jamaica with what are your views on this are you willing and ready to continue doing what you're doing not everybody on the island is a criminal not every jamaican that leaves jamaica is a criminal but you know what the moment you said jamaica people are labeling us and characterizing us because of the few of us 
we have no sense enough to say that if I continue doing that, my nation is going down. And trust me, you are going down too. Once again, this is Jay Khan TV out of Zurich saying unto each and every one of us, stop doing all this foolishness that we are calling murdering and killing people because it's not helping anybody. Walk in peace, my friend. And in this time of Corona, protect yourself and learn to protect others. Jay Khan, Shalom.